Carter from Wheel of Fire Alarms here and today we have some new devices which I think is pretty cool. So um, I got these at an antique shop um, in my area, um, for, actually from the same place that I got this um, Simplex horn and the Faraday Chevron. Um, they're, all four of these devices were together but I held out to get the other two um, until a later time. And now they are finally here at Wheel of Fire Alarms. So um, anyway, for the first device, you guys saw it. It is the Simplex T-Bar. It's a 2099 I don't know, I'll have to look at the model number when I open it. Um, so this is the first device, it's pretty cool. This was addressable, I think, but I think it was converted to conventional. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The only damage to it is that um, the one of the little pegs that holds the axle in is broken so it can be removed off of the metal plaque but other than that it works fine it takes the simplex b key um, and so going up for the second device we have a wheelock as um, and this one is in red as you can see i have two other wheelock as's that i've previously had in my collection so now i have three wheelock as's in my collection which i think is pretty awesome. So that's up there. Um, it's fixed 75 candela. So this is an AS2475 model rather than an um, AS24 MCW, which are these ones. Um, so anyway, uh, enough blah blah blah. Let's go ahead and pull the pole station. Three, two, one. Oh, and by the way, this is the first time I'm testing this device. I haven't tested it until now, so we'll see if it works. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Stick the key in. We're just gonna silence it this way. We're just gonna silence it that way because that's set on very, it's set on the high volume. So anyway, we're gonna turn it if I can. Let's see which way does it turn? I've been having difficulty with the key and they need to get some Rust-Oleum, hold on. Okay, I figured out the problem. I was using my notifier key to reset this. Go me! All right, <laughs> well, here's the Simplex B key. Hopefully this will work now. There we go. And it works great with its spring-loaded awesomeness. Okay, the battery's disconnected. Let's take a look at the model number here. Um, see what I mean, how this is broken here? Other than that, it's a great pull station. I like it. Um, here's the model number. It's a 2099-9102. I don't know if that's addressable or not. I think it is. But there's a look at it if you want to pause the video and look at it in all of its glory. And then there's the little button thing. So let's put this back on the thing. And all I have to do for that is just stick it like this. Not the easiest thing in the world to do while holding a camera. There we go. And now I'll push it together, close it, and there we go. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, hope you guys like the new devices that I have. Uh, like the video, leave comments, and of course subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching everyone.